Hey, look, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a particular program that is currently changing the way I do business, period, all right? But listen, I have a really exclusive offer that is just for you, just for this channel, and you're gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to find out more, all right? Learn what program I'm talking about, as well as how to use this code that is gonna save you a lot of money, but more importantly, it's gonna save you a lot of time, and we all know that time is money in our worlds as entrepreneurs and business owners. So stick around, and let's jump into the video. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Pete Perspective. My name is Pete, and if you're new to this channel, I just wanna say welcome, welcome, welcome. This week, I got like two or three new subscribers, so shout out to y'all who subscribed this week. Literally every single subscriber matters. Every single one of you guys have has a story, you guys have a background, you guys have perspectives of your own. And so anytime I see somebody subscribe to the channel, I'm just like, I freak out because it's a big deal because you're choosing to subscribe to listen to me. And that is pretty nuts. <laughs> so I don't take it lightly. So anyways, thank you so much for being a part of this community. I appreciate it greatly. Today, I want to not necessarily do a deep dive on a program that I have been absolutely loving. Um, I do wanna do a deep dive in another video, but really, I'm just here to explain how it's been helpful for me and a really quick overview of how I use this program. That program is called HoneyBook, so stick around, don't miss it, I'm jumping right in. Let's go. So, Right off the bat, one of the really cool things about HoneyBook is that it allowed me to essentially prune and sift through all of the plethora of apps that I was using to run my business and really narrow that down to just a couple. HoneyBook essentially took a bunch of different programs, online softwares, apps that I was using and allowed me to have all of those things in one place and not necessarily have to use all those things. Now. I will say, I still do have to use a couple other apps. For example, QuickBooks, right? Like HoneyBook has some invoicing features and all that sort of stuff, and I actually do invoice through HoneyBook, but I also do through QuickBooks. And it's really nice to have QuickBooks because you can pull reports very easily. And yeah, I, I wasn't like, I didn't ditch everything for HoneyBook, but HoneyBook really has enabled me to be efficient efficiency like having all that what was once 10 things is now one and so for me and my personality that means everything I love efficiency and just processes and stuff like that's sort of how my mind works so HoneyBook has been great now HoneyBook does have a mobile app which is really really nice because if you need to check out projects and do certain things like you don't always have to be in desktop form you can be on the go and the mobile app is limited somewhat, but they've made it really, really convenient to just in a couple clicks do the things that you need to do, whether it's responding to an email, sending somebody an invoice or a proposal, you can do all of that through the app. So going to the desktop version, I mean, I'm gonna have some stuff up here on the screen for you guys to see, but really in this desktop version, right when you log into HoneyBook, whether it's your free trial or you've paid for it, it's four main pages. And so you'll see right off the bat on their home page and Right on your homepage, you can see sort of a quick little sort of snapshot of where things are. So on the calendar, I had three events today. I've got one new work inquiry, bookkeeping. It tells me that a payment is overdue, which is really nice. And then it gives me some reports just saying, hey, you've made like X amount of bookings. Here's the value of your bookings this year. And on the top right, you have your tasks, which is very helpful as well. So the second page in is your projects page. And what I love the most about the projects page is that you can really simply and quickly look at your flow. And when, when I say flow, I really mean just your funnel, right? So on the top portion here, we have 11 active projects. We have one inquiry, one's in follow-up, zero are in discovery, one's on hold, zero is prep and proposal, one is proposal sent. And so you have these little modules that you can sort of go in and customize to match your process. So really what this is, is a timeline just showing sort of my process and how I kind of bring my clients through that process. And so as one gets completed, they automatically get switched over to the next part in the process, which I love how it does that automatically. I don't necessarily always have to go in and do that all the time. And so you can customize that, of course, if you have a different process, right, which most of us do, I would assume. You can go in and make this perfectly match your process exactly to meet your needs, which is really, really great. So under that, we have the individual projects that are, that, that are available. Uh, like I said, I have 11 active projects, and so you can sort of see all of the ones that are available at a quick glance. And then, of course, if you need to access them, you can click into it. 
and then you can see some of the other details like emails that you've gone back and forth with the client which is great you can see files that you've shared with the client you can see any notes any tasks that are specifically geared towards that you know, work project or work order or however you want to call it and so what I'll try to do is I'll leave my tasks for that project in that project file and then I'll also leave any notes and stuff specifically to that project in that project file as well just to stay organized you can leave general notes but it's really nice to be able to open up the project and see all of your notes see files and see any tasks that are specifically uh, tailored for that project so moving on uh, the next page is contacts and contacts really is just a nice way of comprising or whatever that word is it's taking all of the interactions and contact information from all of the clients that you've worked with as long as you've had con honeybook and kind of putting them in one place for you so let's say you work with the client it doesn't end up working out initially because their budget isn't right but a couple years later they do come back and say hey can you shoot me an email I'd love to chat with you I feel like our budgets at a better place you could always go back into your contact book and find the email uh, their email address just by searching them or looking you know scrolling through and finding them and it's just a nice little library of contacts that you have access to at any point the next one is really one of the most important ones and I guess it does lead to a bunch of more pages, but this is called the tools page. And right when you hover over the tools, you'll see four really broad columns. And the first one is essentials, productivity, finance, and lead capture. All of these different tools are ways to enable you um, essentially to expedite your process, make things simple and efficient. And so templates, for example, if you were to click on templates, that's gonna take you to a page where you can literally customize your invoices, you can customize contracts, you can customize proposals, questionnaires, brochures, gift cards. You can send someone gift cards. So if I wanted to give away a $50 gift card to the next brand that I'm gonna work on, I could do that right through HoneyBook, which I think is really, really cool. Packages, contact forms, and emails and email signatures. So you can literally build emails right through HoneyBook you can have them automated to match your process and then whenever somebody gets to that process, you know, say somebody shoots me an inquiry, they fill out my contact form and say, hey Pete, we'd love to work with you. Once I get that, I can literally go in and hit template, go into my emails and hit like automatically send them, you know, email number two in Pete Design Company's process. And that's gonna shoot them an email just saying, hey, thank you so much for filling out the, you know, the inquiry form. We would love to sit down with you on a discovery call and just kind of talk more about the project. All of that automation is done, y'all. So you literally can just go on and click a button, click one button and it sends them that email. It auto populates their name. It auto populates the project. It auto populates almost like all the specific things that you'd have to go in and change. Now, you do have to go in and tweak some things here and there. But for the most part, I'm really quickly able to just go in and shoot somebody an email, send them a file, like the automation in HoneyBook is crazy. So I wanted to show you that obviously under the tools page, there's like a lot of different types of tools. You can customize your contact form. You can, you can customize your email signatures, your time tracking. This has profit and loss sheets, right? So you can pull reports as well. So I was using Clockify for time tracking at times. I was using all sorts of different apps online. And I'm just so like happy that I finally landed on something that really works for me and my business in this season. So again, I didn't want to do a deep dive with HoneyBook in this you know, video specifically, but I did want to share with you that HoneyBook is just like a really good experience so far. It, it took time. It definitely took a couple weeks of getting used to and diving into kind of learning how it all worked. But now that I have it up and running uh, for the most part and have everything set up, like it has absolutely been beneficial to my business. And so I just want you guys to know, like if you are looking for a client management software or um, anything that's gonna help you really streamline your process, I think HoneyBook is a great option. It's super affordable. And the best part is, is that you can actually click a link that I'm gonna leave in the description box down below. So when I first started filming this video, I didn't have confirmation yet, which is why I am filming this and inserting it into the original recording that I did. But I have partnered up with HoneyBook to not just offer you the typical 20% that they give as a referral code to every user, but I'm actually partnering with them to give you an opportunity to get 
50% off of the first year. Listen, 50% off for the first year is like a huge, huge deal. So I'm gonna make sure that the referral link is down below. If you use that link and use the code the P perspective. If you click the link, use the code the P perspective, you are going to be eligible and able to get 50% off for HoneyBook for the first year. They do have starter plans and then they have two, you know, more premium plans that you could go with. But either way, it, there's a free trial. And of course, um, it's just going to just pay dividends for you and your business. It has streamlined so much. But I wanted to share that with you for, you know, the end of this video because I think it's really, really important. So now, back to your regular scheduled programming. It's an affiliate link, right? So if you guys were to purchase HoneyBook for your business through this link, it would actually give me a little small cut. So y'all can help me get a camera or a microphone or whatever it is to keep the channel going. So if you should be in the market for HoneyBook, man, click that link. I would encourage you to do it right through there because it'll benefit me and the channel. And so yeah, I'd be super grateful for that. But in the meantime, feel free to check out HoneyBook. Um, like I said, not a deep dive. Just wanted to share how it's been helpful for me really quickly. And I think it'll be helpful for you if you are kind of coming out of that freelancer stage and really starting to establish yourself as a business owner and an entrepreneur. So I hope this was helpful to you and that you got some value out of it. Man, I just want you to know that you have a purpose and perspective that is unlike anything this world has ever seen. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for sticking around, liking this video, commenting, subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. Catch me on some of the other social platforms. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, at Pete underscore underscore Rodriguez. You could also find me on Dribble, Behance, and of course my website. And I just want you to know, your perspective matters. This is our community. It's you and I. We're in it together, all right? I'll see you guys next time.